Hello, Church. Um, my name is Williams. It's an honor to bring today's devotion to us. I will be take. I'm part of the Audacious South team, and part of the Marriage team as well. I I want to bring today's devotion from the Book of Genesis, eleven, verse thirty-one to thirty-two, and I'll be reading from the Amplified Version. Uh, the topic of my devotion today is finishing well. Verse 31, Terah took Abram, his son, and Lot, the son of Haran, his grandson, and Sarai, his daughter-in-law, his son, Abram's wife. And they went out together to go from all of the Chaldeans into the land of Canaan. But when they came to Haran, about 550 miles northwest of all, they settled there. Verse 32, Terah lived 205 years and Terah died in Haran. I want to encourage us today to, to finish well. From the above, Terah, the father of Abraham, made a conscious decision, a deliberate one, which I guess wasn't an easy decision to leave everything he knew, his people, his family, the people of his bed, and to move to a foreign land called Canaan. But on getting to Haran, he settled there. And from settling, he died in Haram. Um, taking some from trying to understand what made him to, to dwell in Haram. I did a little study on what the city of Haram. In those days, that city was a transit city. It was on the route to Nineveh. Nineveh is a big city, but it was a transit point where people said to I, I guess there are a lot of uh, commercial activities going on in that city. And that city was um, the, 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 the seat of the moon god worship. So a lot of religious activities were happening in that city as well. So what was the attraction? Why did this effort, this conscious, deliberate act to get to Canaan got distracted in Haran? Was it possible that the place had some resemblance of the promise? Remember, the Bible says that Canaan was a land that flows with milk and honey. Bethlehem was a place of bread. Was there any kind of resemblance of Canaan in Haran? Is a possibility. Was it was the attraction, the business activities happening in there that made terror settle? Is a possibility. Or did he come out with some friends and when they got there, their friends felt, man, why do we need to go through this trouble of traveling some hundred of miles again to Canaan where this place looks good enough for us? The tragedy was they settled there. There's this saying that to kill a man with a vision, give him an alternative. So terror saw an alternative and settled, took an alternative. I want to ask us a question today. The, the ultimate purpose of God for our lives is an eternity with him. He wants us to live well. He's invested much in us and he wants us to impact our world. And he's given us purpose You've given us destiny, vision of where we are going to. What he intend us to achieve here. Are we fulfilling God's calling for us? In your business, are you making the right impact? Will you be missed if you're not there? In your family, are you leaving a good legacy? Are you in your purpose or have you taken an alternative. 
it is time to reflect on this. If you have settled in Haran, it is high time to pick up, get back to on course and head to Canaan because that's where the calling is. Comfort. God hasn't told us that it's going to be comfortable, but his grace is always available. Our God is gracious. If you read in chapter 12 of this Genesis, God took Abraham to this promised land. And not only did he take him there, he inherited the land. I want to encourage us. I want to make a confession. I want us to, if possible, make this confession with me. I will finish well. I will not settle in Haran. I want to pray with us today.